the National Sports Writer of the Year, co-National Sports Writer of the Year, Ken Rosenthal, is now with us. We're at the Marriott in downtown Winston-Salem. It's the NSMA Awards weekend, something we look forward to each and every year. You were a Maryland sports writer winner a handful of times in the 90s. This is your first time at the NSMA, and you're getting to meet writers and broadcasters from across the country and some of your colleagues. What's been your experience like thus far, Ken? Well, I got here later than most because I was in London doing the game on Saturday between the Cubs and Cardinals. So I flew Sunday and basically didn't get into last night. But so far, so good. And it's funny, Bill Plaschke, who is, of course, going into the Hall of Fame, he had a great line on this. I can't quote him directly because there is a word in there that it can't be used. But he basically said, we get dumped on all the time, sports writers by the people we cover we're always kind of getting grief and here we're treated like kings it's it's very unusual for us so it's really nice <laughs> it how was london uh it was great it was great and it was just fun being in a foreign country and that stadium is beautiful and I, i'm not even sure i can put it into words because when I started covering baseball, actually, when I got into the business, I never thought I'd be covering a baseball game in London. And I've done it twice now. I did it in 2019 as well. And it's very cool. Ken Rosenthal is with us here. So a couple weeks ago, we had the North Carolina governor on, Roy Cooper, who's a huge sports fan, loves the Carolina Hurricanes out in Raleigh. And his agenda items that he's hit on sports-related in the last couple of years, he got the NASCAR track at North Wilkesboro fired up, and they had a NASCAR all-star race there two months ago. And then he just signed the sports betting bill that will allow for legal sports betting to happen starting next year. But then during his press conference, he noted, we have some other things that we need to take care of on the agenda, too. And he said on our show, look at the populace, how, how populated the state is and look at the gap between where like Washington, D.C. and the closest major league ten team beyond that. Atlanta, probably it is. When you talk to people in league circles about the next city that makes sense for expansion, obviously of the Nashvilles of the world and the West Coast places, where does North Carolina fit in that, you think? Well, they're going to add two once all these stadium issues are resolved in Oakland and Tampa Bay. Oakland, it seems, is close to resolution. They're going to Las Vegas. Tampa Bay is getting there, it seems, with the stadium in that area. And after that, they'll pick the two. I expect at this point Nashville is going to be one. There's a lot of momentum there, and it just seems to me that their group has been very well organized. There's been a long – They already have a stadium made. Yeah, a long out. ramp up here. So I expect there'll be one. Where they'll go in the West, I don't know. So when you ask where North Carolina fits in that, I think they're second to Nashville. It, among it, East Coast among places. Among East Coast places. You have and then Salt there's Lake. Portland and Salt, Salt Lake out in the West. They're not going to do two in the East. And they wouldn't do Nashville and say Raleigh-Durham because then the Braves would scream, hey, you're k kicking us here, you're kicking us there, etc." So you never know with these things. And I, the governor actually has a point. I know this area somewhat, and I do know it's a booming state, period. But – it just seems to me, based on everything I've heard and gleaned, that Nashville is the leader. When you say add two, are you talking about like the next two moves being what we're seeing in Vegas and then potential relocation for the Rays? Or are you talking eventually we're going to see expansion with some expansion franchises? It, I should have been clearer. Expansion with two. What I meant was, and what the plan by baseball is, is to resolve Tampa Bay and Oakland. However they resolve. Yeah. If Tampa Bay moves, okay. Oakland seems like they're going to move, okay. Once they are resolved, then they will expand by two teams. And, of course, it's natural to expect one to be more east, one to be more west. Co-North Carolina or co-national sports writer of the year, Ken Rosenthal's with us on WSGS. What's been the best story in baseball this year, and why is it my Baltimore Orioles? <laughs> Good question. Tampa Bay has been the best story this year. <laughs> Baltimore has been a great story. But what's great is I love the new rules in baseball so much. Bob Ryan was yelling at me about this, not too. That's also what's great about this event. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like, I, it's great I, to like, be yelled I, at by Bob inter, Ryan. Interly, he doesn't like the fact that everybody plays everybody, old school and all that. But I like the fact that Cincinnati and how hot they are, they're playing in Baltimore tonight. I, yeah, I, it's cool. I just love that. I love a month ago, I'm listening to the MLB app, and I'm, I get to hear – 
Bob Euchre calling an Orioles game in Milwaukee, right? Mm -hmm. I'm glad that teams are playing each other more. But those are two great stories of teams playing tonight, right? Absolutely. And Cincinnati of late has been a really good story. When you ask that question, there are so many stories in a season. And Texas has been a great story as well. I can go to Luisa Reyes, Yuri Perez with the Marlins. Mm -hmm. uh, there's all kinds of things happening at all times. It's hard to keep up with. <laughs> and... But I guess the overriding one would be Tampa Bay and just what they've accomplished. What have you enjoyed about this event upon arriving thus far? What are you being told about what tonight's going to be? I haven't been told much about tonight. Uh, I assume it's going to be really nice. Everyone has always spoken highly of this. Everyone has always said, even those years when I was winning the Maryland Award, you got to go. And that was when it was in Salisbury. I never could go because of work. You work in the summer. Yeah. And this year I just obviously I had to make a special trip because it's a big award. So the best thing about it to me is the best thing about the job period, which is the people. And I love seeing my fellow sports writers. A lot of people here I haven't seen in a while. So that is the best thing to me. I haven't seen Bill Plaschke in years. I ask you that as a setup. The setup being, do you know what you're going to be handed tonight when you win Co-North Co-National Sports Writer of the Year. I've seen pictures. It looks like a statue you're, of some kind. There's that, but you're also going to receive a Louisville Slugger with your name etched. Oh, in. really? Louisville Slugger has been a longtime partner. Okay. So the national winners get Louisville Sluggers. That's going to be your essential trophy for tonight. So okay, cool. I got to know, like, that's obviously probably going to be a prized possession. Baseball is a sport that lends itself to having a lot of prized possessions. What might that be for Ken Rosenthal? What's something that is prized that you either have sign or a picture or something of that sort? Well, I don't collect autographs. This is my job, so I can't do Understood that. that. Um, I would say some of the photos of me interviewing some guys on television, I keep as much as I can. Yeah. And I, that would be the, the main thing. Even in London this weekend, if people took some photos of me with a microphone in my hand and as I was interviewing people, I, I get a kick out of that. That's fantastic. Well, yeah. I hope you have a great time tonight. I'm it's, sure I will. I I tell people this. Last year, I, I postponed my honeymoon a week in order to go to this event. Me and my wife last year, Charles Barkley learned about it, and he was here with Ernie Johnson, called me over to the bar and let me know how much I outkicked my coverage and other things that <laughs> of course I can't did. I can't say on the radio right now. But um, that's what this event is. You get to just correspond with all these people and build new friends. It's good to meet you. Meet I've admired you well. work for a while. Thanks for the time. Thank you. Appreciate it. No doubt.